families. I just wanted to jump on really quick and talk to you about a few different things for our phonics um, patterns this week. So I'm going to talk about the difference between a vowel and a consonant. I'm also going to talk about the vowel um, short A, and I'm also going to talk about a few different consonants that we'll need to know um, for spelling our words this week. So quickly, I'm going to go over the difference between a vowel and a consonant. So first of all, a consonant is when the sound is blocked or partially blocked by our tongue, teeth, or lips. So when our tongue, teeth, or lips get in the way, um, and it's partially blocked when we make that sound for each of those letters, that's how we know it's a consonant. So like D says D and my teeth are in the way. But if we were to look at the vowels, we know that a vowel is a vowel because our mouth is open and it's voiced. So like A says ah, our mouth is open when we say ah, when we say that sound. So that's how we know the difference between a vowel and a consonant. That's just really quick. So we know that our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U because all of those sounds are made with my mouth open. Everything else is blocked. Either my tongue, teeth, or lips get in the way. And that's how we know the difference between a vowel and a consonant. So we're also going to go over a couple of cards. I like to use phonics cards to help us practice our phonics patterns. And then we can review them every day and constantly add to our deck so that we're constantly reviewing and making sure we know all of our vowels, all of our consonants, all of our phonics patterns as we continue to go forward. So I'm gonna quickly go over our short A sound. So as you notice, this is an A, and this is the short A sound. We know that it's a short A because it has a breathe on the top. It's this little curvy little line, and this is called a breathe. This is just to code the, um, the sound so that we know that it makes the short A sound. Typically, it's followed by a consonant, and that's how we know um, that it makes the short A sound. So when we see this card, we're going to say A, apple, A. Ah. So that's our first card. A says ah. And we know that it's a vowel because our mouth is open when we say that sound. So we know that it is a vowel. Now we're going to go over a few consonants. Consonants, remember we close the mouth. The sound is blocked or partially blocked by our tongue, teeth, or lips. So we're going to quickly go over a few consonants that we'll need to know when we're doing our spelling words this week. So I'm going to go over the first one. This is the consonant D. I'm sorry, this is the consonant B. It's backwards when you look at my screen. So, teachers make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, it's all good. All right, so this is A, B. So we're gonna say B, bat, B. Say it with me, ready? B, bat, B. We'll have to remember that. So keep it in your brain, lock it away, we'll have to remember that for later. All right, our next one is M, mitten, M. Mm. Say it with me, M, mitten, M. Mm. We'll also have to remember that one, lock it away. All right, here we go. Now there we go, there's the D. D dog D. D dog D. Awesome job. We'll have to remember that one as well. And just a few more that we'll need. S socks. S socks. We'll have to remember that one. P pig P. P pig P. T table T. T table T. All right, so those are all of the, vowel, the vowels and the consonants that we'll need because we'll only be using one vowel, which is our short A sound, and we'll be mixing that together with all these different consonants to create all these CVC words, which just means that it's a consonant vowel consonant pattern, only using that short A in the center. So that always, that medial sound or the middle sound, it's going to stay the same in all of these words, and we're just changing up the consonants. We're flipping it out and changing it for the different words. So let's go ahead and look at our first word. I'm going to write it down and we're going to go ahead and code it. So I want you to quickly look at the word. I want to think about what you see. So I see M, which I know that my mouth comes together when I say the M mm sound. So I know that that's a consonant. So I'm going to write a C underneath because I know that that's a consonant because my sound, the sound is blocked. Then I see I have an A. Well, I'm not really sure if it's gonna be a short A or a long A right now. I'm gonna quickly look at the letter behind it. Well, N says N. Well, I can see that my, my teeth came down and my sound was partially blocked. So I know that that's a consonant. So that means that a vowel followed by the consonant is always going to be a short vowel, unless there was another, um, 
if unless there was another vowel after the consonant, then that would change our vowels. But we'll get into that later. No need to worry. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blend this together. So we'll say each part of the word, and then we'll say it quicker and quicker and quicker, and then finally we'll have the final product. So let's get ready to sound it out. Ready? Mm. And man, m an, man, the word is man. And I can also put a brief on the top because I know that the A makes the short A sound and says ah. Let's look at another word. All right, so I know the R says er, and my mouth is starting to close whenever I say that word, and my teeth are getting in the way, so I know that the sound is partially blocked my, by my teeth, so I know that it's a consonant, and in the middle we have a vowel. We're trying to figure out if it's short or long. It is followed by a consonant, and there's no other vowel at the end, so I know that A has to be a short vowel, so I know that it's going to say ah. All right, let's get ready to sound out our word. Ready? Er, ag, ag, rag. The word is rag. Awesome job. Let's do one more and then we'll be done. And you can practice more at home. All right, here we go. Here's our word. Go ahead and take a quick look. See if you can find the consonants and vowels in this word. Okay, here we go. H says and I know that my lips kind of came back together, so I know that this is a consonant because my lips are partially blocking me making the sound. And then I know that A is a vowel because A says ah, and my mouth is open when I say it. Then we also have T. T says t, and my teeth come down and my lips make movement, so I know that T is a consonant. All right, we're going to look and we're going to... Um, Sound out, we also know that this is a short vowel because it's followed by a consonant and there's no sneaky E at the end. So we know that it's a short vowel. So we're going to add a brief at the top. All right, let's get ready to sound out our word. Ready? At. At. Hat. The word is hat. Awesome job. You can use coding at home to help your students to practice their words and blending it together. But really, as long as they're making the sounds, they don't necessarily have to be able to code the words on the test. It's not anything that we're requiring, but it just helps students make the connections that, hey, this is a consonant. This is a vowel. This is the short vowel. We know this because it helps them to know the purpose behind the phonics. Why do these rules make sense? Why does it work this way? I really want them to understand why. But they will not be tested on that. It's just a way to help you practice at home. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but I enjoyed coding some words with you guys today and learning about short A and consonants and vowels. Um, see you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.